Hey guys, so I want to show you another demonstration. One of the things when it comes to figure out if something is an acid or a base, you can use something called lit litmus paper. Litmus paper will turn different colors in the presence of an acid or base. Now you see I have three beakers here. This one, this one, and this one. And you'll notice all of them are clear liquid. One of them is an acid. One of them is a base and one of them is just water. How am I going to know which is which? I'm going to assume that all of them are dangerous. I'm going to assume they're all acid or they're all basic. or I'm going to assume nothing is safe. I won't know which is which until I test them. How am I going to test them? I will use litmus paper. Now I am using today this pH paper here. So it basically gives me the whole gamut of if it's acidic or basic. On the pH scale, if it is acidic, it will have a pH of 1 through 6. Neutral would be 7, and basic would be 8 through 12. So let's run these little tests. Let's see what colors we get and figure out what each of my three clear liquids is. So I'll start here, and I'm going to just drop a small amount onto my litmus paper and look and see what color it is. This one is yellow, so yellow is a seven, okay? It is neutral. This one is seven, this is neutral. This particular beaker is just plain water. The one in the middle here a couple of drops. This one turned a bright blue. So you can see here it's nice bright blue. So very dark color on my scale. Blue is 10, 11, 12. So that's a very strong base. And indeed that one is. That one is um, sodium hydroxide, which is a very strong base. And my last one, turned a bright red. You can see, there we go. So it's this nice bright red color. Um, there we go. Nice bright red. Bright red means that I am going to be acidic. And on my scale here, you can see that red is around two, one and two. So this one is very acidic, and that last one actually was sulfuric acid. So you can use pH paper or litmus paper. It changes colors in the presence of an acid or a base, and it will tell you a lot of information when it comes to safety. Reminder, always stay safe when you're working in the lab.